Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. In our previous tutorial we learned how to take three scans of the same part, which were in a different locations, and thanks to their alignment using endpoints, we managed to bring them together. The point is that now they are only three separate scans and if you want to use them as a single mesh there is no really a way to do this. One option to continue is to select all the scans, like this one with the shift key, right click and select merge. There is a warning that there is no undo but I will continue. What technically happened was that all the triangles have been put together so now it's a single entity which you can use as a single mesh but the problem is if I just go and edit which you will see if I go to individual meshes you see that they overlap and there are a lot of information here so it's not a singular mesh you cannot really print or use it in something sensible so I will just close this for now and will reload my previously row aligned data and we'll demonstrate the next approach. What we have here is something which is called repolygonize. It's located into the reference mesh and it's called repolygonize. If you try to start it, there is only one option that you need to adjust and it's called point resolution. Before I continue, I will cancel this and I try to explain what is this point resolution. Let's hide and leave on the screen only this scan. If I zoom in, you can see that the meshes are not created with a, a lot of small little triangles and they are connected with the vertices are connected with these edges. Let's go and measure one of these distances. I'll just click here and somewhere here. As you can see, it's roughly 0.7 millimeters. Another distance is something here, which is 0.6. This means that if, when, if we go below this resolution, the minimum distance, there is no really a point to generate multiple triangles here because they will not represent anything better than or something that we already have. So for this reason, this is the parameter that you need to use. I need to have more than one mesh in order to use those nice just go now select reference mesh and then select it polygonize for this type of object 0.6 is a good value you can use 0.5 but going down to 0.1 will generate a very huge amount of data we recommend the 0.1 resolution only for the very little objects with the size of a inch let's press ok and see what the software will do it takes all the triangles from the existing mesh and using an algorithm like uh, in the other software it will create or it will do its best to generate one single mesh that is more suitable for printing and what normally is called watertight mesh. Of course in order to receive a watertight mesh you need to process the holes, close the gaps and so on and then this probably will be able to send it out to a printer. The software will encode the information, will create the initial mesh and then will optimize the topology to get the final result. So this is one single mesh as you can see on the screen. The rest are still remaining in our memory so which you can select and delete. And this is our final mesh. I will just double click to edit so you can see the structure and we will choose show mesh wireframe. So this now is a single mesh. What bothers me here is the quality of the mesh. If you remember we created these three parts, we aligned them together only by picking several points. Mathematically this is not enough and it, this means that even visually you see them okay on the screen Technically, they are not properly aligned. I will delete my results for now. And we'll show you the three meshes. If I zoom in, for the purposes of demonstration, I will change again the color so you can understand better. This is what my mesh 
and this is my other mesh which I make it blue. If we look closer, because we picked only five points, the software didn't manage to align them perfectly and this is obviously what you can see on the screen. To overcome this problem, when the scans are nearly perfectly aligned, we have the function which is called Global Fine Align. The Global Fine Align is located in the Edit menu and it requires more, more than one scan data and then you select Global Fine Align. In this case, it uses a, something which is called Search Tolerance which generally will be used for every point to search for the closest neighbor here and thus optimize the positions of all the scans simultaneously. I would like to say here clearly that this is global final line that every scan will move in space so it's not one to one and for example if you have a car if you align one scan to another you may end up at the end that they don't overlap while this global final line will use smartly to run over the, all the scans together. 0.5 millimeter is good enough distance because I think they're pretty close and then I'll press OK. You wait a little bit until you get the final result. As you can see the screen was updated and you saw that everything moved in a better position. Of course you still have some noise but this is because of the scanner and not of anything else. Now I will just go and again will run my recognize function with the same parameter and we just wait. It will do the same thing, we'll take the underlying meshes, we'll encode them into the algorithm which takes some time and then it will generate one single mesh. Let's see what the result will look like now after we applied the global final line. We recommend when you have a multi-part scan to perform a global final line always in order to get the perfect results. We are nearly there, the main generation is now almost completed, the software will simplify the topology and this is our final result. As you can see now, there is a huge difference between our initial attempt and what we get at the moment, especially at the, at the bottom, and this is our final result which is much and way better and it's a single mesh that can be used for your reconstruction. I hope this video was useful, thank you for watching.